वेलकम माय नेम इज गौरव एंटोड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कंपेयर टू ऑफ दिस रेसबेरी पाई डिस्प्ले सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड Welcome back guys to another video. So today we are comparing two of this commonly used Raspberry Pi displays together and see which one is for you. So let's get started. So this is the previous cheaper 3.5 inch touch display that we used in the previous video. As you can see, it's almost the same size. So this display use the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi to display the output using the SPA communication protocol. But due to that, it's a bit laggy and with a very, very low refresh rate. So that's why it's not a useful in many cases. You can use it if you have a low budget or you want to just display something, then it's good. But what if you want to make your small gaming console or you want to play some videos on it, then we have this same form factor, but good refresh rate as it, this work over the HDMI interface. So that's why it's have a good refresh rate so we can play some videos and also play some retro games and making a small tiny retro simulator kind of setup with this. So it's very useful in these cases. We have both of these displays. So let's get started. So here we have set up both the displays. Here we have the our new HDMI display. Then here we have our cheaper display. For the test setup, I'm using Raspberry Pi 4. 4 GB with both of the display so we can see that performance difference between the displays as you can see this is the non HDMI one and then this is that with the HDMI you can see the color difference now let's try to play a video with because that's a heavy task for these display drivers to handle it so I'm going going to play the same video on both of these displays as you can see it's loading up faster as well So here, as you can see, the without HMI display is facing some lags. As you can see, the shuttering frame rates here. So here in this, as you can see, it's lagging a lot and we can see the frames. It's changing the frames very slowly. So that's not at all a good option for this kind of uh, project if you want to use this display. On the other hand, as you can see the color difference as well. So this is quite good in the colors as well as the frame uh, frame rate it's playing really really smooth if we talk about the touch response it's equally the same as they both are using the same touch ic which is the xtr204 side viewing angles are also really good of this display if we compare to this one the viewing side view angle is a crap in this case and if we talk about the price difference i think this costs around 35 dollars and this one is around 50 dollars so that's a huge price different but you get the value with this one so here as you can see we are connecting with the 3.5 inch display as well as the hdmi 2 is connected to this monitor so via this we can use both the output of the raspberry pi to display this is not possible with this model as it's cannot don't allow to use the hdmi port for a display out but but with this one we can use this 3.5 inch as well as the another HDMI port to use the external monitor as a display as well. So let's come to the conclusion. If you are making a project with a low budget and you would just want to display some text or images, then go with this one as it's a lower cost and it performs good when considering the price point. But if you want to play a video or you want to make a gaming console using a retro pie or you want to play a retro games on it, then I would totally recommend this to go with this HDMI one as this display has a better frame rates and it can handle the video smoothly rather than this one. And even if we talk about the touch response, this display has, has a great touch response compared to this one. As you can see, the touch is not that great. It's good with the stylus, but not with the finger. 
and also you can see the frames lagging so but in this it's really really awesome, smooth and good so i would totally recommend so i would totally recommend you to try this display for your project if your budget is low so hope you guys like this video if you have any question then do let me know in the comment section below do not forget to like and subscribe to techionics for more awesome tech videos and i will see you in the next one till then goodbye